Hello, my name is Andres Sebastián Amada García, and I'm going to present my English course final project. This morning, I got up at 8, and suddenly, I wanted to invite you to the city where I grew up, Bogota. I will tell you why. I could show off about all the places I have visited during my life in this enormous metropolis. Let me introduce you to Bogota, the city where I live and where I like to be. And if you're wondering why, well, as we all know, the reputation of Bogota and Colombia is not so good. The city has its hidden wonders. Well, what makes my city stand out from other cities in the world are the famous monuments, tourist attractions, unique cultural aspects, and interesting architecture, which, among other things, make the trip worthwhile. It is a also a multicultural metropolis, apart from the fact that it has many activities and monuments that represent its long history, it is at the same time fun and interesting for all ages and all members of the family. But let's focus on the countless historical or the tourist sites I bring you today, including some of the most important parks and shopping centers in the city. Let's start with its history and take a look at La Casa Quinta de Bolívar, La Casa Museo Jorge Eliezer Gaitán, La Necrópolis de Usme, El Museo Nacional, El Museo del Oro, El Museo del Niño, El Museo de Arte Moderno Mambo, and El Pasaje Rivas. I almost forget La Plaza de Bolívar, The Lord's Park, El Chorro de Quevedo, and the Santa Maria Bullring. I have an anecdote. The day I met Santa Maria Bullring was a sad day because I saw a dog pass away on the road just in front of me. But let's go on. You can visit the District Planetarium, the Jose Celestino Mutis Botanical Garden, the Natural History Museum de la Universidad Nacional de Colombia, and La Catedral Primada de la Inmaculada Concepción y San Pedro. Then we will see the most visited places, such as Montserrat, which apart from having a beautiful view, is very important religiously, historical, and culturally. The day I met this part of the city, I had to ask for the location of the Montserrat cable car. I was so excited to ride in it. There is also El Teatro Colón Bogotá, a national monument, noted for being one of the most beautiful Italian theaters, and La Casa de Nariño, which is the presidential palace, where Antonio Nariño, translator of the rights of men, lived, and the Colpatria Tower, which is an iconic 50 story skyscraper. In addition, you can visit some of its shopping malls and amusement parks. There are a number of them, such as Centro Comercial Andino, Centro Comercial Calima, Salitre Plaza Centro Comercial, Diversity, Salitre Magico, Parque Mundo Aventura, among others. It also has gigantic and beautiful parks, such as the National Park, the Simon Bolivar Park, and La Florida Park, where you can spot one of the biggest diversity of birds in the country. Moreover, you will do many fun and exciting activities. Don't forget to eat. It could be a great experience. We have an incredible gastronomic diversity, represented by an endless number of national and international typic food restaurants for all tastes. And don't forget to smile at the locals. They are friendly people and they will smile back. There are many more of these, but I I can explain them all. For you to love Bogota as much as I do, you'll have to come and explore it yourself. That's all. I hope you enjoy it. I look forward to visit Bogota. See you soon.